Dust got keys. Sure is quiet around here. Without the tablet, it's just like any other museum. <sighs> oh, I guess, uh... You should get everyone back to their displays. Save this for later, okay? Or you can just eat it right now. Hi, La. Oh, they grow up so fast, don't they? Kids. I'm childless myself. Happily so. No. Awful. Right. Where did you come from? I spent the night in the reservoir. Why? What was I meant to do? I just wanted to park all night. I'm jobless. But you're not homeless. Huh? I mean, you have a home. You didn't lose your home, right? No. So why did you sleep in the park? I just went... Bit of a breakdown, if I'm being honest. Live with it. You okay? Yeah. So your... Your mission, was it a success? Yeah, it was. Good. Everything will go back to the way it was before? Yeah, not the way it was. Right. No, but that's okay. It's, um... I've arranged to have Achman Ra and the tablet put on permanent loan to the British Museum. <laughs> what do you mean, you? You... <laughs> you haven't got the authority. No, I don't, but you will. I'm gonna call Dr. Phelps, and I'm gonna tell her that the whole planetarium thing was my fault. And I'm gonna convince her to give you your job back. But then she... she just fire you. I mean, what good will that do? It's okay. It's time for me to move on. Nothing, just uh, emotions. <laughs> just <laughs> keep it down, Monfi. <laughs> down. Just, just... Come on, chin up. <laughs> You've been through. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it? Send her a pic of you in front of Big Ben. She's gonna think you're the coolest thing since fried rice. Maybe either. <laughs> I think, you know, this tone that is unique to these movies, where there's an adventure and there's mystery, but, you know, it's a comedy. Do not compute! Do not compute! I'm uh, <laughs> sorry. When you do a movie and the set is populated by Ben Stiller, Ricky Gervais, Robin Williams, Owen Wilson, Steve Coogan, and Rebel Wilson. You want to see what they bring. These are just incredibly quick wits. A knight on a horse just ran through. Yeah, right. Like men ride horses. What do you think this is? 1980. What? So on the first night at the museum, I found that we were doing a lot of improv. We were following ideas that would come to us in the moment. And so it's just become how I work. Don't look behind the curtain. Don't, no, because... For, for thou shalt reveal the little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, do that. Okay. The little wizard. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah. Okay. My advice to you is don't peek behind the curtain too much, for thou shalt reveal... the little Where scared wizard? wizard. Hello. The strange digressions and tangents we go off on are ludicrous sometimes. Grand reopening of the planetarium. Ooh, some very important peas. Oh, I'm nervous. Not. What? <laughs> you get me every time. <laughs> you know, when it comes time to do the scene, there's, you know, the way it's scripted, and then there's some, you know, sort of leeway. Should I say, this is it, boys? This is the end, boys. Last round up. This is the last round up, boy. Hold my hand. Why? 
Never mind. <laughs> oh, never mind. Cut it. Never yeah. mind. Never mind. Yeah. That's good. When you're on a production this big, you can become distracted by the production values and the way it looks and the fact that these amazing sets are all around. But when audiences respond to a film, it's the kind of little performances that they respond to, or little jokes, the, the stuff that doesn't cost anything. Larry! I'll do a longer A instead of the... Good, I'm always thinking. Larry! Good. It's a very safe set to try stuff and just to be as silly as you want to be, and if it doesn't work, then, you know, just go and be sillier or less silly, I don't know. <laughs> Larry, clown-faced keeper of the magic tablet. Larry, limp-faced follower of chimps. Larry, maestro of the underplayed reaction. <laughs> Sometimes you'll do 10 improvs, but the 11th one is just gold, and that's the one that goes in the movie. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Sean knows which bits are the funny bits, and he's got such a good eye and ear for where the funniness is in the scenes. Hello, welcome hey. to the British Museum. How are you? Queen, good. Hi. Hello, welcome to the British Museum. Hi. Hello, and welcome to the British Museum. Hi. I suppose one of the other things I love about these movies and about particularly Ben's involvement in them is that there is, you know, Ben's quintessential humor brought to it. I mean, it's a dolphin. It's one of the most peaceful creatures on Earth, and you're hacking into it like, like it was the cove or something. <laughs> he's always great, but there's days when he's on fire, or Robin Williams is on fire, or Gervais is on fire, and you just see the genius that they really are. I mean, it's a great learning experience. You're going to mug me? What? Well, I don't know. Just no. be prepared. Just For me, the, the most fun is two people ad-libbing and being silly. And that's every scene with Ben. Where'd you come from? Spent the night in the reservoir. Why? Because I am jobless. Sounds unwise. It is. Was. Very. Yeah, why did I spend the night, though? Because I've, I've lost my house. <laughs> you should say that. Yeah. You, okay, where, right, right, okay. Where'd you come from? I spent the night in the reservoir. Why? What was I meant to do? I wanted the park all night. I'm jobless. Yeah, but you're not homeless. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great line. OK, OK. Ricky is one of the funniest people ever. So doing the scenes with him is always fun because his cracking up becomes infectious, and I start cracking up at myself, and I'm not even that funny. Our esteemed chairwoman. <sighs> I even spell <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Myself and Ben ruin 80% of takes. So the director ends up with every sentence once without a laugh at the end of it. Do not compute. Do not compute. I have just told you. <laughs> I don't know when Ricky's cracking up, if he's cracking up at something I'm doing or himself. I believe he's cracking up at himself. I find him incredibly funny too. But he gets, he really finds himself incredibly funny. <laughs> Never gonna happen, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do that again, okay? Go! Need some help, friend? What? <laughs> Move. <laughs> it help, though! Uh, here we go. Dan Stevens is so talented, in addition to being a phenomenally solid and dimensional dramatic actor, he is funny as heck. Beauteous Guinevere. She smells like chamomile. I really don't know if there's anything that kid can't do. He can be serious, but he could also be really funny. And he's also doing stunts. And then he, like, pulls off his hood. And he's got, like, this blonde hair. I mean, he's perfect. The opportunity to make Ben or Sean laugh has been has been brilliant, and uh, you know at times it's been very very hard not to laugh the other way around when you know things are going all over the place and just trying to hold it together really. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Go! 
got you. For me, any time I get to work with Robin, I'm very happy. Growing up, he was one of my comedic idols. So there's never a day that goes by where I'm not, you know, secretly kind of going, oh my God, I'm working with Robin Williams. This is cool. And he's like treating me like I'm his friend or something. And of course, seeing him is always getting your own personal comedy session for five minutes here, two minutes there. Step out of it, best again. You got points. You're playing for points. Here you go right now, playing for points right now. Here we go, seven, one, 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 one time only. From the snake basket, the magic cobra. He's just a lovely, gentle human being. We'll just be down here if anyone needs us. It's been amazing to have the opportunity to play with all these guys, just going a little bit off script and seeing what happens. We do get to play. That, that's the best thing about the job, is that you sort of get a license to not grow up. What an amazing job, where the more ridiculous and stupid you act, the more your boss likes it. And that was brilliant. Really? I, I just said nonsense. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs>